Is there a dent in my head? Dude! My head has a dent! Oh no! There's a phenomenon that's been going on for a while in the gaming world. You sit down at your computer, put on your headset, and after about eight hours of gaming, you take that sweaty RGB gamer headset off, and to your dismay, a dent sits there on your head. This is the gamer dent, and it usually just affects your hair. Maybe you have a slight hair dent or a slight skin dent on your big bald Mr. Clean head. But the dents left on streamers like Tyler1 have gone viral recently for their intensity. Their dent looks more like a trough, a moat around a castle. I mean, that could hold a PS5 controller or your keys or something. It's basically extra inventory space in real life. Whilst this phenomenon dates back to the beginning of Terminal Gamer Core, the term Gamer Dent didn't really enter the online discussion until 2018 when on January 13th, a Redditor posted this still of Tyler1. The dent was visible. I mean, you could see dents in the hair, might even be balding there. But users started to play around with the image, and within weeks, months, the dent became more prominent. It became a valley, and then a canyon. It then became a meme. Regardless of how big the actual dent was, even Tyler1 was starting to notice it, like in this clip from 2020. Alright, shut the f*** up on this computer talk, you f nerds. The look of pure shock. A gamer's demise. Other online gamers started to notice the dent, like Tim the Tatman. You have a dent in your head from your headset. No, I don't. No, I don't. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is there a dent in my head? Yeah. That's a dent. Another clip went viral in June of 2023 when Dexerto posted a clip of streamer Kurtos Live shaving their head to reveal a gamer dent so dastardly the whole world stopped in disbelief. Dude, the shaver's working like a champ. Dude, I have like an indent right here. This is where my headphones go. I have a f***ing headphone indent in my head? What the f***? Looking like Wojakian creatures, gamers came out the woodwork sharing their dented heads. Esports YouTube channel The Score Esports posted a compilation video of several streamers reacting to their dents, which garnered over 4.2 million views in just a few months. I mean, it's embarrassing. It's a mark of shame. It signals to the whole world that you are super glued to your World of Warcraft computer or PS5 and you need help. Either that or these dudes gotta loosen up these headsets a bit or maybe Big Headset is doing this on purpose. It's like free advertising. Eventually Razer or whatever is just gonna put an indent logo under the headset strap so that it leaves the logo right atop your bald head. Now that would be funny. Maybe I shouldn't give them ideas. There were a lot of memes to come from the gamer dent, mostly just variations of Tyler 1's insane looking head. In the year 3000, archaeologists will be studying the human skulls from the 2020s and 2030s and notice an era of man, a gamer era, where the peripherals humans used to game with literally indented their skulls in, caved their eyes in, elongated their fingers as they typed upon their Cheeto encrusted RGB keys, their posture sunk it over from staring at the screen. Nerd neck and gamer dent are a heart-rending combination. Before long, each and every person will be strapped up in a VR headset with eternal gamer dent. We will all fall to the same fate Tyler1 has. But it's not too late to touch grass. But yeah, this meme is pretty funny. I honestly think it's really funny that you could just play Minecraft every day and literally dent your skull in. What a world. Maybe people have to start getting skull implants or something. Or, or maybe just wear earbuds.